So Yu-Gi-Oh! is like one of our mainstay time slots. We record it every four videos. I've been getting a, like a little bored with making the same type of quiz over and over and over again. So I've decided to mix it up a bit this time. Woo! Uh, we're doing a Aww. quiz based on the flavor text on normal monster cards. Oh no. Oh Christ. Oh, <laughs> oh. Why do I I'm have going a feeling to... this is going to be so much worse than the regular quizzes? Oh I'm Christ. I'm going to give you a line of flavor text and four cards, and you have to tell me which one it goes with. So they're all real cards all the time? Yes, all of these are real cards. So the first question, uh, or the first flavor text I'm going to give you is, the speed of this warrior creates the or creates an intense vacuum that can slice through a monster's hide. Can I and your guess? Your four oh, options <laughs> are unknown warrior of fiend, blade skater, hero of the east, and mech knight Avram. They spelled mech wrong. <laughs> I just want to point that out. I suppose they did. I unknown warrior fiend. Looks like he has a no unknown warrior of, of fiend. So yeah, yeah. sorry, you're canceled. Um, <laughs> could you read the? Oh, it's right. It's right above it. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I summoned cabbage patch. Didn't... Unknown warrior of fiend. I didn't provide myself with the correct answer. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so obscure. He doesn't even. Oh, know that's incredible. I, it. I I have it written down. Um, I'm going to choose Hero of the East. Okay, okay. See, when I think of, you know, a warrior that can create an intense vacuum, the only one here that I can see being able to, to suck oh, yeah. that good. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. would be Unknown Warrior of Fiend. Mm -hmm. Oh, he kind of slay, though. Well, who are you thinking, Kyle? Yeah, I thought we were on the same page. I was very in on, on our guess, but instead it's just my guess. I look at this merry band of warriors, and I go, damn. Damn. <laughs> the speed of this warrior sure is fierce. It's gonna just slice, just create that vacuum. Slice it right off. Um, it's obviously Blade Skater. <laughs> I knew you were going to choose that. <laughs> How did Blade Skater is on through. skates? There's no way her head game can be graceful. Wow. She's sliding hey, around, boy. cutting her ankles open. Like, I don't know, man. Speedy All right. Skate, me lad. Wow. <laughs> Fortunately, we do have a point on the board right off the bat. Is it uh, me? This. Yeah. This. Um, <laughs> is it really? This flavor text goes with Unknown Warrior of Fiend. Let's go! I knew he looked like he could give head like crazy good, dude. All right. I, I put too much thought into it because I like Hero of the East is very clearly like samurai in origin. And I was like, mm -hmm. samurai are known for like quick draw uh, from the katana. Like, right, right. No, it definitely checks out. That is absolutely why I put it there. I just realized I how just fucking yeah. veiny the warrior of fiends arms are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like that dude is, is vascularly <laughs> adept. <laughs> vascularly <laughs> adept. Wow. I need you to understand something here. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. And when we do Yu-Gi-Oh, the goal is to get me and everyone here upset. <laughs> Not Always. me. Always. I thought that's what happened. I'm just vibing. That's what happens. It's the goal. Oh, it, it's the goal. It's like at the top of the Google Doc, and then next is our names. It's that much <laughs> important. Um, Am I in like a margin or something? Because I just vibe for these videos. Well, the thing is, we have to we have to make Yu-Gi-Oh fans angry to a point that they comment, because then that fuels the engagement of the videos. You're right. Hero <laughs> of the East is the coolest looking card I have ever seen. In the <laughs> I think it's why it has the greatest aura I've ever seen. It's Peak my design. card at it's the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> round number two uh, is going to be a lot more interesting. I hope so. Why not? That first round was fucking boring. Oh yeah. my god, I was like a honk shoe, honk shoe. <laughs> and I was like, me, 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 me. I'm going to pour some salt and pepper on this round. <clears throat> This man like dinosaur has got a high IQ, even though he's lacking in the strength department. Kind of like yous if you had a high IQ. Nah. And your options are Anthrosaurus, Gaga Gigo, Cybertech Alligator, and Mech Knight Avram. Why is he back? <laughs> <laughs> the 
this is my favorite bit you've ever done. <laughs> no. And I simply no, because no I way. know I know you're a man of the bits. Mm-hmm. I know you you're one with bits. Always always have I always say to my friends that Mitch is a man of the bits. <laughs> <laughs> so <and> so, <laughs> so I know the answer cannot be Mech Knight Avram. If it is an answer, it will be one of the last ones. <laughs> and he will be there every time. I'm calling it now. I which uh, is why <laughs> I'm picking Gagagio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um I mean, I feel like Mech Knight Avram is the one creature here who could not have been owned by Joey Wheeler, because the artist who knew. Um I've never seen I've never seen any of these cards. I guess mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. straight up, um, but Anthrosaurus, the art style looks very. It looks like it's from like a knockoff like VHS kids cartoon thing that you would have bought at like Dollar General for like, two dollars. <laughs> it's the villain in like a Philips CDI game. Yeah, yeah. like it's, yeah. I, I just don't want the vibes, you know. Yeah, um, I was gonna make the exact same comment. I'm very glad yeah. you caught on that as well. The light, just... it burns. <laughs> You must die. You must die. <laughs> um, I am going to go with Cybertech Alligator because he looks like he has crafted himself some, like, Tony Stark Iron Man armor. And if we know anything about Tony Stark, it's that he got a lot of IQ and he lacking in the strength department. <laughs> My favorite. I'm sorry. Like was that was that your attempt no. at a Joey Wheeler? No. I won't do it though. So you just my, have to. My, okay. I won't do it. Um, my yeah, favorite so, Iron Man. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, Anthrosaurus, no. continue. Fuck, Fuck me. <laughs> no. It doesn't is, is that a command? Is that a question? Both. I was just going to yeah! say that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know. It's a mystery. What's the answer? <laughs> Obviously, out of all of these creatures, uh, Anthrosaurus is the one that is very smart and not very strong, apparently. <laughs> yeah. According to Joey Damn. Wheeler. <laughs> that was so, going to be my initial guess, and I pivoted because I so thought I was smart. Tyler, the exact reasoning Tyler gave is why I knew it was going to be at least either Anthrosaurus or Cybertech Alligator, because looking at them, the style of art, and specifically the style of background art, is mm-hmm. way more consistent with like earlier cards, yeah. And I, I like feel a, like that's gonna be Joey. If it's just like a, be, a freaky mm-hmm. psychedelic pattern background, yeah, <laughs> of a chosen color. I also knew it wasn't Gaga Gigo. Question: How 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 did no one pick Mech Knight Avram though? I don't know. Crazy. It's I, you. It's it's you. Also, a question: mm-hmm. Who who's Joey? Oh, Joey Wheeler is a prominent character in the first uh, season or series of the anime. I forget that you had, like, zero exposure to Yu-Gi-Oh! as a child. Yeah, literally none. Yeah, hold on. That's so wild to me. Christ. I'm glad that you took a lot of time out of last round, Kyle, to point out how how much of a labor of love the bit is for me. Uh, because in round three, I'm continuing two separate bits. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Gaga no. Gigo? In order to fight tremendous evil, he gained formidable power through body reconstruction, but lost his heart and his redemption. And your options are Gadget Soldier, Giga Gaga Gigo, Sword Stalker, and Mech Knight Avram. Mm, very <laughs> cool. cool. No, not Giga Gaga Gigo. <laughs> you finally did it. You finally put the card in that everyone comments like a thousand mm. times per video. Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. I wasn't prepared for Bitception. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mech Knight Avram. Gadget Soldier has a concerning amount of abs. Like... Uh, like he has abs and then abs surrounding his abs and then abs yeah. surrounding those. Like this dude does crunches. Exactly, Tyler, which was part of the body reconstruction. <laughs> I'm going with that soldier. You don't think those are natural? You think those are artificial? No. Abs? He was like getting put together and as they're putting it, it's like, wait, 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 wait. Could you like <laughs> abs times seven? What and what I like what I like to shit. think is that much like Robocop's origin where he got like blasted apart by shotguns <laughs> yeah. and like they had to reconstruct him with like just his lungs or whatever. Like I think 
he got blasted apart by shotguns and the only thing that survived was his rock hard abs because they were just <laughs> so thick that the bullets couldn't <laughs> penetrate it so they reconstructed him from the abs up <laughs> my my head can is is he was the chunkiest motherfucker and those are welts <laughs> 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 he was fat and the bullets like formed like the wild set of abs on him. Oh god. Holy shit. Um a sword <laughs> stalker I forgot that existed, but that just like brought back memories because mm-hmm. I absolutely had that card as a child. I've mm-hmm. seen that art before. I think that was also I could be wrong about this, but I think that also was one of Joey's cards. It might have been. Mm. You might be right. Not I one actually, of the Joey flavor text cards. It kind of just looks like mm. if Grimace was Spawn. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now that I look at it. Um, wow. Okay, wait. wait a minute. <laughs> I just got whiplash. <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Um, I am so, going to pick Gadget Soldier, though, because I think that your third recurring bit is that every answer is going to be the first one. <laughs> Ooh! The question continues! No, has it been? Oh, yeah. no, it has. Um, ah, shit. I do like the art on all of these cards, especially Mech Knight Avram. That one's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that I'm glad that brought you so much satisfaction. God, you know, Gadget Soldier is such a clear answer, but I don't want to go with it. I I don't know if it is. I think I'm going. I think I'm going to choose Giga Gaga Gigo. Okay, I think think that's the other most obvious option. Yeah, it makes sense. It is. It is. If it's Sword Stalker, I'm going to flip a table because that really feels really off base. I I do really want it to be Sword Stalker. (laughs) No, the real answer is if it's Mech Knight Avram, I'm going to flip a table. <laughs> it's definitely not Mech Knight Avram, and I, I'll, I'll help you flip the table. <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. Mitch, how many tables are we going to need? <laughs> uh, Nico gets another point on this one. The correct answer is Damn Giga it. Gaga Gigo. <laughs> okay, I'm not flipping a table. That kind of makes sense. Mm. I was really hoping that all of the answers would be the first, first answer. One. <laughs> I thought Crack I was catching on to something. Mm. I did not put three bits in this this list. Damn no. <laughs> not yet you haven't. Not but yet. But the bit is he's lying. There's actually <laughs> seven in the last round. Yeah. This is going to be kind of weird. Um, I'm not going to give you a readout yeah. of this flavor text because it is in reverse. Um, mm, what is that? But mean? your options are. No, don't worry, don't worry. I can do it. I can your do options it. are yeah. Evil Swarm Heliotrope, Go Giga Gaga Gigo, <sighs> Cyber Soldier of Dark World, and Mech Knight Avram. It's never okay, going to be Mech says, Knight Avram. This is basically okay, a three it, question. Hang on. It yeah. says eliminate, eradicate, exterminate. These are the thoughts of. L- linger, lingering, l- lingering steel, steel swarm. Swarm. swarm, lingering steel swarm souls, Cold. yearning what? for a body so, so that, that they might make yeah. their dream, dream a reality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, the fact that it says swarm makes me want to pick evil swarm heliotrope. But I feel mm-hmm. like you did that intentionally as like a misdirect. Why? I would never. I, why would I ever do that? Yeah, I know. It doesn't seem like something you do, but. I also. No, 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 no. It's, I'm going Evil Swarm Heliotrope. I'm doing it. I feel like I haven't really properly reacted to Go Giga Gaga Gigo. <laughs> I really want it to choose. I really want it to be on. Go Giga Gaga Gigo, but I'm not going to choose that. I'm also going to choose Evil Swarm Heliotrope, actually. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm okay. going to go Cyber Soldier of Dark World because I don't want to conform. <laughs> Very valid. Um, I made this question explicitly so that you could overthink things because the correct answer is Evil Swarm Heliotrope. Motherfucker! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, I God felt it. I it. felt it in my bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it's the fact that it's 
these are the thoughts of lingering steel swarm souls. And they're like, mm. and it looks a bit like, like possessed armor almost. Mm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, that, that's the one I kind of like made that connection. I was like, you know, what? I'm going with that. I, yeah. The I steel quick... swarm and the evil swarm are different things, but the evil swarm is mm. specifically corrupted versions of other archetypes. Mm. Oh, interesting. Mm. See, obviously I knew that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, clearly. We are the number one uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Real quick, I just want to. I I just want to say I've been opening these in browser so I can get bigger ones, and because of the fucking bit of Mecha Knight Avram, I just opened one and had to think for a second if it was the new image or not because (laughs) I saw Mecha Knight Avram in the same spot (laughs) and I almost lost my mind. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's pretty cool also i'll just say this I'll get one point well not one point i've liked other cards too but go, go giga gaga gigo i mm-hmm. like that art a lot actually on it it's very good it's really well yeah. done it looks it's like, like a like a very like old school like metal album cover <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it really does actually <laughs> the weird like graininess of like the blue green background yeah. is what's actually really giving me like that vibe yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. It looks like something that like like an edgy trailer trash kid would have had on a t-shirt in like first grade. Somebody dyed their white Metallica shirt with those colors exactly, and that's like the tie-dye that came out on his old Metallica yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make like a top text, bottom text meme with the go go giga gaga gigo art. <laughs> uh, Cyber Soldier okay. Dark World looks like someone commissioned someone to make a like generic not copyright version of a sentinel for their like original comic that's not x-men but is definitely like heavily inspired by x-men i was thinking not warhammer oh that mm. too yeah <laughs> the shoulders you know are what? very warhammer and you know that actually does that does make me realize that mcnet avram just looks like somebody drew uh, like off brand Xenoblade Chronicles main character. <laughs> <laughs> really glad you Actually, Mech Knight Avram, the art style looks very much like Shadowverse art style. Mm. It for not yeah. all the cards, but like there are cards with like that exact same art style. If you want to play an actual good card game or a better <laughs> card game than Yu Gi Oh, I shouldn't go as far as to say it's good. Play Shadowverse because it's better. <laughs> Piggybacking off of like the hellscape that was reading this entire card uh, backwards, um, here we have check this out, and your options are <laughs> Bean Soldier, Jerry Beans Man, Soitsu, or Mech Knight Avram. What the Soitsu. fuck is going on with Soitsu? <laughs> it's Soitsu. Beauty. That's what's happening. Yeah, with no, this is genuinely like the greatest piece of art I've ever <laughs> laid my eyes on. In my life, in like any context, I I want to be very clear. I'm choosing Soitsu. Okay, okay. I feel like it I ha- be- yeah, no, I feel like it has to be Soitsu. That pose Are you ready? Is, is all like it's saying. <laughs> check this out. So whoa, mama, check this out. <laughs> this is Mech Knight Avram. No. Oh shit! Your hubris is gonna be your downfall, dude. No, no, no. See, your hubris you're, is gonna kill you're, your fiance. You're a lack. You're a lack. <laughs> Nice callback. <laughs> Nobody watched that video. <laughs> we don't know I that yet. And but if you don't yeah, no watch that this. quirky little reference, why don't you go check out our Dog Island video? <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. So tell me if I'm wrong. Drum roll. <laughs> It's Mech Knight Avro! Fuck! Yes! 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 Yeah! That's so fucking stupid. Fucking no! I'm so mad. Can, 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 can we what be Soitsu's told? No, I, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. if it doesn't ruin the rest of the rounds, what is Soitsu's? Soitsu's card text is apparently totally unreliable. He wonders <laughs> if he has incredible potential. <laughs> Also, as a thinker, I need you guys to know that Soitsu is Japanese for that guy. Oh Oh my god. God. (laughs) I'm gonna say it. Oh my god. I'm gonna say it. I love Yu Gi Oh! now, and this is the greatest Yu Gi Oh! card ever. God. (laughs) This has brought me back. This has brought me. I mean, not. I guess not brought me back. I never really liked Yu Gi Oh! But it brought me to Yu Gi Oh! (laughs) Like, I'm in now. 
we I've seen Jerry Beans Man's card yes. enough times yeah. that I knew it was not him. Mm-hmm. I I had to imagine that Bean Soldier could not be part of it. And I was praying that Mech Knight Avram was being saved for something no, no, better it was, than this. It, like, he's gi- like I said, he's giving off brand anime protagonist vibes. And I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, but he doesn't have like point his fat sword at you and go, check this out. And I was he like, He doesn't have like a shit eating grin or anything on his face. He's just Yeah, he just looks like, like a generic he doesn't isekai look, protagonist. Yeah, like <laughs> exactly. he doesn't look like he'd be trying to like show off. Also, Soitsu just very much felt like it should be checked this out. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah no, 100%. Obvious. Dude, I'm changing That's definitely um, why you put that there. wallpaper on my computer <laughs> to that image. I just want you to know that. Like, that's that that art is inspiring. <laughs> that's wild. I actually already it's changed so my own background to Magnet. I'm getting that as my next part of my fucking sleeve. Like, I'm, getting, I'm <laughs> calling up my tattoo artist when we're done with this. I'd be like, hey, I want that. I might, I might have to get like Jerry Beans man tattooed on me though. Actually. Yeah, Jerry I, Beans appreciation. I, I would not be upset to get a Jerry Beans man tattoo. Uh, once again, drastically juxtaposing with the previous round, uh, our sixth round tonight. Uh, the the card text is: <clears throat> the hero who defends the light of the stars must destroy the darkness of illusory world and entrust his power to the chosen one. The will inherited by the chalice of the stars will become a new key and become the sword that cuts down the darkness. <laughs> it's and Sora. your options. Your options are <laughs> high priestess of prophecy, silent swordsman, mystical elf, and super magic sword of Raptinus. Dude, I really, really <sighs> wanted you to be. And last but not least, Jerry Beans. <laughs> Jerry Beans I, I wanted it to be street. all the same options with something instead of Mech Knight Avram. Do, do you want me to keep the bit going? There's a fifth option. It's Mech Knight Avram. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if that's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'm. Wait, what's the score right now? <laughs> this is important. The score, because of the, the um, I wasn't going to mention this until we hit the lightning round, but I've been doubling all your points this whole time. Oh. Uh, so the score is what? Kyle 4, Nico 6, Tyler 2. I'm going to say that the correct answer for this is Mech Knight Afro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I, I believe in the Mitch bit. <laughs> I believe it so hard. Yeah, check this out was just the precursor. <laughs> it was oh, just no, the no, preamble. No, no. Check this out recites poetry. No, no, no. It's all of that. Like, oh a fuck, like enter twice and then check this out. Oh my god. Because <laughs> it says it became the sword that cuts down darkness. And in the end, he's taking like a sword and like holding it out. And he would then, after that dialogue reads by like an unknown narrator, he would go, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are, what are the other two answers? Um, <laughs> should be Avram, probably. <laughs> I, for some reason, my gut is going with the sword of Raptinus. Okay, so I'm okay. gonna go with that. But I'm not confident. That's just like where my where my soul is pulling me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm 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 being thrown off here because Mystical Elf is a really like com- it was like a, a card that Yugi used constantly in yeah. the in the series. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I might have had one of those cards, but I don't like it's throwing me off because I recognize it. So I'm not. <sighs> yeah, you know, it's old if I recognize the card because <laughs> yeah. I've seen that before. So, yeah. Um, <sighs> damn, you know what? I, I'm going to go against my gut and I'm, I am going to choose Mystical Elf. Um, OK, OK. Can I just say for the record, I'm not changing my answer. I am locking in Mechanet Avram. But if I were to guess from the four here, I would say it's High Priestess of Prophecy. Just okay. Saying. Okay. The nice. correct answer is Mech Knight Avram, baby! It was the correct answer. Are you shitting me? I am actually not shitting you. Yes! 
Yes! This is my proudest moment! I've never done anything better than this! <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was a bit! In a bit! It's not! Oh my god! I need you to know, people who, like, know Yu-Gi-Oh! really well are going to be really confused when we get to this question. Uh, because... High Priestess of Prophecy and Silent Swordsman are effect monsters. They're not normal monsters. Um, Mystical Elf, I used the card art for a trap card instead. And Super, Super Magic Sword of Reptinus is a spell card. None of these are, like, correct. <laughs> these are all wrong. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So it really was, there was, like, only one option, actually. I know no one's going to believe me, but before you were like, and the fifth option, like as a bit, I was totally prepared to be like, fuck it. It's my diaphragm again before you even made that a joke. And then you said it. And I was like, fuck yeah, it's totally. <laughs> so the reasoning behind that is, and I'll take this time to explain what the OCG is at this point. Um, OCG is the Japanese version of the card game and they get stuff before the TCG, which is the global version um right in the ocg the poem is mech knight avram's card text when they localized it they spat in the writer's face and changed it to check this out that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of the fact that we have a bunch of bonus questions that would really skew the data i'm going to double your scores right now so just multiply that number by two uh, and we're going to have a bunch of true or false questions. It's only true or false. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to give you a quote from the anime and you have to tell me if it's real. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> so wait, to be clear, are all of these true false are these one point then? Yes, all of these are one point. Thank you for asking for clarification. I was okay. so swamped in my own head. My body, uh, <laughs> my, well, my body and soul is ready. Let's get the shit on. All right, all right. We can rattle these off pretty quick hopefully. Uh, question number one, or quote number one, who cares if he's richer than me? And so what if he's more powerful? I'm really good at playing card games. That's and that's real. what life is really about all about anyway. That's real. Uh, that's yeah, no, I know that's real. True. Yeah, true. I, yeah. Okay, everyone gets a point. Fuck yeah. Because uh, we started watching the series and that's one of the first things that Kaiba said. <laughs> Un incorrect. Uh, that is, is a it? quote from Chaz the Chaz Princeton from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Really? Wow. <laughs> I thought I could Fucking swear nerd. that you didn't even get it right. That's Chaz the Chaz Princeton. That's Chaz right. the Chaz Princeton. That's he, quite he the consistently name. refers to himself as the Chaz. Oh I like I like the thought that oh. GX is not the series he's from, but his title. <laughs> Like <laughs> MD <is> Chaz GX. <laughs> yeah. Quote number two. The sooner I beat you, the less bad dialogue I'll have to hear. False. True. True. Okay. All right. This one is also real. Damn. I was like, Damn. it's so bizarre that yeah. it mm -hmm. has to be real. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is by Adrian, also from GX. Okay. Quote number three. Spunk. Yes. That's the whole quote. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, true. That's gotta be real, right? It's at least real in the sense that, like, you've said that before, Mitch. Probably, like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm clocking in on real. I think this is also real. I want okay, it to be real. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna keep it spicy. Let's say it's false. Okay, this quote is also real. Yes! <laughs> I need to know the context of this. Uh, let it be a mystery. Uh, let, it, let, it, let it just fucking... Uh, this, is a care, this is a quote from Gloria Tyler from Arc 5. Uh, <laughs> Gloria Tyler, my favorite character in her iconic what quote. What the fuck is Spunk Arc 5? Yeah. That's the fifth series. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, a character says, how sweet her boyfriend's got some spunk. And Gloria says, spunk, yes, but the intellect is clearly lacking. <laughs> you almost made me try to try to make a do a voice and it was <laughs> probably wouldn't have been good. You silly <laughs> man, you. I just want to put I. The thumbnail is just going to be spunk. Yes, I, I hope spunk, everyone knows. Yes, that. yeah. <laughs> 
with Gloria Tyler. Classic Tyler, Tyler sisters meme. Just funk uh, yes, doing that shot of me where my head's just barely peeking into the frame as I'm screaming <laughs> yes. From it's gonna be, I'm gonna also have I'm gonna have Gloria from Madagascar and me next to each other <laughs> saying spunk yes, spunk and yes. Me in the corner screaming and just a spunk yes. Yep, Quote number is. four. <clears throat> this face down's gonna wallop you right in your keister, meester. Oh, that's, that's no quote, false. Right? That's that's a good one. I think it's true. I think all of these are true. So I'm just yeah. I was just about to say, you know no, what? I'm calling I'm, this one false. I'm I think giving... this is the fifth bit of the episode that all of them are true. <laughs> I'm picking up. I did on consider it. that. I did it's consider true. that. It's true. I'm picking up on this, the bit. It falls on this one for me. Mm-mm. All right, Nico's got a read on me because this Damn. one is false. Damn it. Damn it. My it's not a real line. My bit but detector it, was worn out. The uh, the the fifth quote. What in tarnation is a shadow realm? That's real. That's, That's real. Fake. I it's feel fake. like I remember that. that. No, it sounds. No, too, that sounds fake. too. Like, that sounds too for kids dub. To- <laughs> That's a Bill Murray tweet. That's what that is. <laughs> That's also pro- yes, that is also probably a a Johnny Frenick tweet. But like. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you this. What are you was the right. in the comments? Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, people not know Bill that. Murray, the actor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll never tell. <laughs> this, uh, this is another fake quote. This ah! is not real. No one in the show said this. It just sounds unless... like something that Keith would say. <laughs> I all. I almost thought it was a reference to the (laughs) you're getting sent to the shadow realm, Jimbo. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it was Hugh Neutron for a second. What in tarnation is a shadow realm? (laughs) (laughs) The ghoul from Fallout just (laughs) now what in tarnation? (laughs) Goggins? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, but specifically as the ghoul from (laughs) Okay, here's here's uh, quote number six. I figure if there's intelligent life out there, then why don't we teach it how to duel? That's real. Real. That's real. Real. It's gotta be real. Wait. 100%. Wait. I gotta catch up. False. I feel like because didn't you say that one of the one of the ones that everyone hates, he gets like an alien companion or something? It's not that one. Oh, okay. I'm still gonna say it's true. Yeah, 100% <laughs> true. I say uh, false, even though you just said it's not that one. It's not that one. Um, I appreciate you sticking to your guns because this is a quote from Seto Kaiba himself in GX. Amazing. Kaiba uh, is in GX? Yes, he is the owner and creator of the school they go to. Didn't know. I oh. Lord drops, Lord only drops. saw a few episodes of GX. I really only watched the original, so I didn't know that. Literally, the context for this quote is... There was like a, a a contest where students could create their own card, and whoever won would have that card put on a rocket ship and blasted into orbit. And Kai was like, "I figure if there's intelligent life out there, why don't we teach it how to duel?" <laughs> there's Smart man. so much, Smart man. Smart guy. wrong with that. All of that no. that I can't even begin to unpack. Yeah, there's it. a lot going and on. And the worst part is, it reaches intelligent life, and oh they come God. down and become cards. <laughs> Ah, oh, they they, they become, become cards. cards. <laughs> What's I don't the next think question? that's what happened. Like, like at the beginning of we, the anime, this is when supposed they were to be like, a lightning round. I can't yep, yep. much more of this. What's the next question? The seventh quote: <clears throat> Wheeler, your deck is all monsters. You couldn't even come up with a strategy to tie your shoes. Yeah, that's true. False. True. Because I'm gonna guess true for everything. But that also sounds <laughs> like, like something like Tristan exactly. would say. I Tristan. like your tactic, Tyler, and I respect it, but I'm going to stick to my guns and say that it's it's uh, no. OK, OK. One of you is right. Or is it two of us? If this was a real quote, it would have been spoken by Kaiba because he's the only one that calls Joey by his last name only. Oh, okay. uh, I, I, I for whatever reason, I, I thought I wanted to attribute it to the bug boy from a weevil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wheeler, your deck is all monsters. <laughs> You couldn't even come up with the own strategy to tie your shoes. Uh, quote number eight Holy is shit. we're getting close yep. to the end here. Uh, <clears throat> think of all the slurping smiles your slopping will bring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm committing to saying everything is true. I I have my doubts that. about that. But uh, I'm still no, 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 no. Say it's true. That no, no. wiped the smile off my face, but it's got to be true. <laughs> Can you repeat it? I just want to hear you say it again. 
Think of all the slurping smiles your slopping will bring. God. <sighs> that just makes me think of the fucking mill tank fusion we looked at the other night. Ugh. And if you want to check it out, why don't you go ahead and look at our YouTube shorts or our TikTok or our Instagram. Check them out. They're really cool. Um, World's slowest lightning round. It yeah, absolutely really. is. I'm going to go devil's ag- advocates false. Okay. Okay. This is a real quote. This is oh, uh, no. spoken by Gloria Tyler's twin sister, Grace Tyler. <laughs> I, I despise same conversation. Uh, Craig, no, okay. different Think conversation. Of all the same conversation. Your slopping will bring spunk. spunk yes, yes. Like, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're my favorite characters in in, in yeah. all of this anime. Actually. The Tyler sisters are nothing but one liners and quotes. It's, oh, that's incredible. <laughs> I'm I'm proud to share the name. The penultimate quote. <laughs> I just told you I'm not a chicken, you son of a. And then the scene changes. I I think that's false, but I'm going to guess true because I'm guessing true every round. I'm actually also going to guess true. I, Dedicated I feel to like this bit. was mm-hmm. in the first. No. Mm, uh, false. Oh, OK. Are they that coy with the camera? Work? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fuck it. I know nothing. Go true. <laughs> uh, who uh, who said false? Me. Totally. Yeah. Me. So uh, Nico, Nico gets the point on this one. I, I made figured. this one up. I, I the last it. minute I said four kids. Yeah, yeah no, I was <laughs> they like, won't I, even give an ambiguous liquid in a show without calling. But I could have given you original dialogue from the Japanese translated, but I didn't. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, like hearing that, I was like, I don't think that would have. I. Yeah, would have flown in the in the dub, but I got to commit to the bit. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it paid off for Kyle. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, the final quote. No one has a chance of beating Nico, but let's let's give it your best. <clears throat> She'd be my type if she knew what a sandwich was. That's oh got to be true. Lord. That's got to be Joey Wheeler. I mean, I'm going to guess true because I <laughs> I have to contractually, it, but like I, I I genuinely think. I think it's probably false because I think you pulled that from the comments. <laughs> That's what I think you did. That'd be pretty awesome. That's where that came from. It'd be pretty amazing. I would never pull from the comments for content ever constantly. <laughs> um, this is a real quote uh, from Cal Coulter in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. His Basically, his exclusive character trait is he is obsessed with sandwiches and the definition of sandwiches. So he got into an argument with this woman about whether or not hot dogs are sandwiches. Oh and then God. she walks really? away and he's like, she'd be my type if she knew what a sandwich was. Now that's <laughs> character writing right there. One might say that that gentleman is fueled by sandwiches. He is. <laughs> he is. Credit trouble, baby. Thanks for sticking around for another epic episode of Fuel.